Hi, I'm Scott. Welcome to my off-grid cabin. Hi there, this is Scott. I'm here at my off-grid cabin and just gonna cover a couple subjects. What it takes to be off-grid. Now that I've built this off-grid cabin, what does it really take? Off-grid is a lot of work, but I think it's worth it. Being off-grid, it's not easy. You have to know where your electricity comes from to power your lights, phones, but it's not that hard. We live in a day and age where all this technology is available. Hard part may be water. You can live for a long time without food, but not very long without water. Some water is just not good to drink. Avoid this water. Being self-sustaining is something we need to get used to, we need to be comfortable with. I think it's good to not be dependent on others, government, should the grid go down, should you wanna live a simpler lifestyle, there are things you can do to live off grid or to just simplify life a little bit and appreciate the resources that you have. Let's cover a couple things. We pick up water at either campgrounds. This is not working. Or water sources. I am putting in a well that I'm drilling myself. You have to power that well or you can do a shallow well like I'm doing with a hand pump. Food, you're gonna to have to stockpile food or bring your food or grow a garden to truly live off grid, but there's a lot of ways to do it. Something tore through our garbage. Hope it wasn't a bear. One critical part to off grid living is heat, especially in the winter months, cold months, and cooking. You can fix both of those with a wood-burning stove. They're harder to find nowadays, but you can get them. I built barrier around it in the cabin to ensure that nothing would catch fire. So I've got bricks underneath, I have metal underneath that, and I have metal around uh, surrounding it. But this is perfect heat, heats up this little place very quickly. The problem with wood-burning you can stoke it up at night, but you're cold by the morning. You gotta start it up in the morning. So it's, it's labor intensive, but it's kind of a fun way to get out and do things, collect firewood. It's fun to play with, but it also, it warms, it warms things up very well and you can cook on it. And don't forget fire extinguishers. I've got several around here. Here's my outdoor kitchen. You wanna be outside cooking, enjoying the weather, looking at nature, but it makes it nice to cook out here. Sometimes you have to go a long ways into the woods to find water. Water is critical for survival, for cleaning, for cooking, for drinking. And I had to come many, many miles into a national forest for a spring. Whiskey Springs is what the name is. You gotta filter it, but you have to have water for off-grid survival, no matter how far you have to travel. I'm building an outdoor shower for the cabin. I gotta build a door, finish the trim, do some odds and ends, but this is going to be an instant hot water. I'm gonna collect rainwater from the roof. Currently I'm using the hot water bag, the solar bag, to heat up water and I hang it up here. But this is going to be hooked to propane. This pump will pump water out of the, the barrel um, and you'll have instant hot water. I'll put hooks up here so you can hang your towels and your clothes, put some more accessories, but build the door, do the trim. And then I'm gonna build a walkway or another deck. Here's where the solar cable goes into the house, into the cabin. Comes down into the ground and I buried it all the way down here. And the solar panels will sit here. Here's where it'll connect to, here's my cable. But there's solar here, sun in this area all the time. And this is away from anybody can see. 
and I'll clean all this up. I've got uh, siding to side all this, put a better roof on this, and then I'll have power into the cabin. And as you can see, I am close to a road, so I have electricity if I want it. I don't want it. I want my own. Well, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Are you going to build an off-grid cabin? Do you want to live off-grid? Is it worth it? Is it too much work? Maybe. But I think it's worth it.